वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट इंट्रोडक्शन एवरी ह्यूमन बींग ऑन दिस अर्थ प्रोड्यूस वेस्ट विच इंक्लूड्स लार्ज क्वांटिटीज ऑफ टेन कैंस पैकिंग मटीरियल वेस्ट पेपर्स ग्लास वुड एटसेट्रा वेस्ट इज समथिंग दैट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड हेंस discarded over population and industrialization has increased the amount of waste on the earth newer products are being manufactured and so also the number of consumers is increasing day by day in the last 20 years or so the use of plastic increased by leaps and bounds Right from packing up to the microchips and computers plastics are used these plastics once used and later discarded accumulate in heaps in cities not only do they spoil the landscape but cause ecological disasters as was seen in the recent deluge on 26 July 2005 in mumbai plastics clogged the drainage system and caused flooding all over mumbai city plastics metal and glass can be recycled and help to prevent such disasters in future even biological waste if allowed to accumulate can spread disease hence it becomes extremely important to manage the waste and treat it in such a way that it is not detrimental to the environment importance of waste management waste management helps to reduce the impact of waste substances on the environment that is it helps to reduce pollution of air water and soil it prevents the spread of infectious diseases it also helps to conserve our natural resources by implying the method of reusing and recycling the waste substances safe disposal of waste solid or liquid waste cannot be just disposed of indiscriminately otherwise it can have an adverse effect in the environment the different steps involved in waste management are number 1 collection of waste number 2 segregation of waste number 3 processing and recovery and number 4 disposal of the waste which is solid liquid and biomedical collection of waste number 1 collection of waste from specified locations large dust bins or containers are kept at certain locations in the city or town and people are required to dump their waste into these containers often sweepers collect the waste from the buildings and then dump them at these locations trucks come and collect the waste from these locations number 2 block collection a collection vehicle goes from certain routes and when it sounds segregation of waste segregation means separating the refuse mainly into three categories reusable degradable and non degradable parts reusable waste includes items such as paper like newspaper old books discarded exercise books etc can you imagine the bulk of examination answer books 
piling up into tons and tons of weight all such paper can be recycled which is the best part the metallic components also can be separated and reused degradable such as organic waste like vegetables and fruit peeling etc can be decomposed into useful manure non degradable parts such as certain plastics can be dumped examples biodegradable waste such as food scraps vegetable and fruit peels etc can be turned into manure and non biodegradable waste like metal glass plastics can be recycled the most effective way would be to segregate the waste at the source only dry waste and wet waste should be kept in separate bins representation of segregation of waste segregation of waste is done in three kinds organic waste inorganic waste and hazardous waste organic waste is also known as biodegradable waste it undergoes biological treatment which includes compost vermiculture landfills inorganic waste is also known as non biodegradable which is of two kinds recyclable waste and debris recyclable waste includes glass which is recycled in recycling industries whereas debris are used for road construction hazardous waste includes hospital waste which is recycled by incineration processing and recovery of waste most of the components of solid waste may be valuable as a source of raw materials for industry for production of fuel etc hence processing the solid waste helps to recover materials that can be put to further use Processing the solid waste helps to recover large proportions of glass, paper, metal, plastics and woods. Metal and glass as well as plastic are recycled whereas the other lighter portions of paper and wood are used for energy production. Now here is the procedure in processing of solid waste. The solid waste is put through a processing plant which involves the following procedure The solid waste is put through a processing plant which involves the following procedure Solid waste is put in a shredder then it is processed in air classifier which classifies it into heavy fractions and light fractions Heavy fractions include metal, glass. Light fractions include paper, plastic. Further, heavy fractions are processed through magnetic wheel where glass and iron that is ferrous metal get separated thus recycled. While light fractions that is paper and plastic are burned to produce heat and power. disposal of solid waste the solid waste which are no further use usually consist of residues left after solid waste have been processed and products have been recovered or energy produced from them these residues have to be disposed of in an eco friendly manner particularly hazardous waste and biomedical waste solid waste disposal methods Now some of the methods are sanitary landfills, incineration, composting, biotechnology which is vermiculture and production of biogas. 